All right, everybody, it's Tim Flanagan for What's Happening on the Road, and we are in Suffolk, Virginia, for an outstanding festival called A Taste of Suffolk. What happens when an entire community comes together and, and invites the world? You have a taste of Suffolk, baby. Not only did the event showcase true America, where everyone wore masks or didn't, which is their right. It also disproved another fallacy going around that America is biased of each other. Could have fooled me. There were all shapes, sizes, colors, and labels, hanging, talking, and enjoying the beautiful day. Our little group of four started up one side of the street and down the other. Where we had the hardest time was trying to figure out what tasty food item to eat first. I went with the catfish and shrimp tacos, and man, were they yummy. My friend got catfish kebabs, and they looked good as well, though he did not give me a nibble. My sister-in-law had garlic hush puppies, which she kindly shared, and oh yeah. There were so much food and treats to choose from, it, was, it wasn't even funny. There was live music at the far end of the festival, and a really cool drinker's area with TVs, a, a couches, a solo singer, and all kinds of artwork, all in this beautiful little alcove courtyard. What I liked is the many shops and stores were all actively involved, which gave the festival depth. From the people to the food and all the cool crafted items in between, I highly recommend this festival next year. I know we will be back, um, even if it's just to try all the food we missed this year. We also made our way over to the gorgeous Suffolk Cultural Arts Center, which is shown in this video, for a look around, and then we took a drive over to the marina, which finished out our day. People, Suffolk is alive and vibrant. Kudos to all involved in A Taste of Suffolk.